How do I connect a 30 years old Tandy 1400 LT laptop to the internet? Just for the fun of it, I want to get an old Tandy 1400 LT laptop. Next V20, Intel 8088 equivalent. 640 kilobits RAM. 9 inches could backlit monochrome display. 23,5720 kilobits DD floppy drives. RS232C serial port, DB9 meters. Centronics port parallel, DB25F. I want to connect the thing to the internet and use it as an SSH terminal. The A should be no problem as it is a 386 hardware. There should be a small Linux distribution which can be run on it. The problem I see here is the internet connection. Does anyone have experience with serial slash parallel to ethernet converters? The A should be no problem as it is a 386 hardware. You'll probably need 4 MB of RAM, likely higher, at an absolute minimum to run Linux, and likely 16 MB to run any distribution or kernel with a decent software selection since 2000 or so. If you can't upgrade the RAM you are stuck. Some brief searches seem to suggest this has an 8088 with 512 kilobits or 768 kilobits or RAM, though. Modern Linux won't run on that at all. You may want to keep an eye on ELKS, the Tandy's next CPU is mentioned in the boot slash setup.s file. I did get Linux booted on an old 1995 era WinBook laptop via floppy, I believe I used my Linux. RS232C Connector The way to convert serial to a network connection is PPP. You would need to set up a PPP client on your laptop and have a PPPD running on another Linux slash Windows host that can route your PPP connection to your outgoing internet connection. You can probably still use it as an SSH terminal somehow if you install shows on it. If anything, put an RS-232 adapter on your Linux system. Configure your init up to spawn a giddy on T0 or TS0 and use a DOS terminal program to access your system. Well, if you're really feeling old school, you can go back to a prehistory I'm barely old enough to remember. You will need a copy of DOS to run on the Tandy. Kermit the terminal emulator, not the frog. A null modem cable, or for some real old school cred, a couple of dial-up modems and amp, phone lines. A machine running some kind of Unix-like OS, connected to the internet, with a serial port. Configure the Unix machine's Getty or Equivalent so you can log in on the serial console. Connect the Tandy to the Unix machine's serial port, either using the null modem cable or via the two modems and the telephone network. Fire up the terminal emulator. Dial the modem if required. Log in to the Unix box. Use Lynx or Lynx, FTP, Pine, or any other favorite text mode internet software. For best results watch this while setting it all up. I have a 1400 HD and oddly enough do connect it to the internets. The best method is to get a Zircon P310BT Ethernet adapter which will connect to the 1400's parallel port. The P3 has a DOS OD driver which will let you use a TCP stack like MTCP, WATCP, PC slash TCP, etc. MTCP includes a ERC, FTP, Telnet and other clients and works well. 
Next would be to connect a Digi1 SP or Linux box running CPSR to the 1400 serial port and use it as a virtual modem. Either will emulate a modem connected to COM1 letting you use a normal terminal software such as Procom, Telix, Kempro on the 1400 to Telnet. May I suggest that you try Minix V2.0? It will run on XD hardware like your laptop, although it will probably take some fiddling. Minix 2.0 is reasonably full-featured and there is a contributed PPP driver that will also run on XD-style hardware. You can then use PPP over a serial connection to a properly networked Linux system. Finding an SSH client that will work on Minix with so little memory is more of a challenge, however. <laughs>